I have made a video on this subject about a year ago, which seemed to get a lot of attention, and I really enjoyed making it, so I've decided to make a part 2. It's taken me a while to make a part 2, as I wanted to get the best clips possible, and avoid ones that are obvious fakes. So here are the 5 scariest deep sea diver footage caught on camera. I hope you all enjoy. This video comes from a YouTuber with 2.2 million subscribers. He is about to dive into a river for the first time in a couple of months to see what he can find in extremely cold water. Over the course of the video, he finds various different items such as fishing hooks, old cups and a tennis ball. However, the one particularly odd thing he discovers is a rusty old pistol which he suspects is a murder weapon. So he calls the cops, who say they can't get fingerprint evidence from it, but they will run a serial number on it to see what information they can find out. Overall, this 10 minute video is pretty crazy, and is definitely worth a watch. This video is filmed by a channel with 754,000 subscribers, and shows the diver scouring the ocean floor, when he suddenly comes across a mysterious object. After more observation, it appears he has found an unexploded cannonball, which he then proceeds to hit against the ground. You might think that a cannonball that's been in the ocean that long won't explode, but you'd be wrong. There's a story of two men in the Air Force in the 80s, who were stationed in South Carolina, and one of their mates brought a six pound cannonball he found embedded in a riverbed, which they proceeded to throw across the room at each other. They later took it into an EOD yard, who fired a squib into it, which resulted in the cannonball exploding with great force. If one of the men had dropped the cannon, it would more than likely have resulted in their death. So in my opinion, the guy in this video is extremely lucky to not have been at least seriously injured. This video was filmed in Batangas, which is a province of the Philippines. The video appears to be relatively normal, However, suddenly, whilst the divers are deep underwater, and almost at the ocean floor, an earthquake begins, aggressively shaking the ground below them. This must have been a pretty terrifying ordeal. The video we can see here shows a man diving in the Gulf of Mexico on his last day of the dive. He was in roughly 93 feet of water, which is approximately 28 meters. He then encounters a great white shark. The shark continues to retreat and return for a while, as if trying to suss the man out. However, the diver has his spear gun in hand and pointed it at the great white. This wasn't because he wanted to shoot it though, it was merely to act as a deterrent for the shark, so it knows not to attack. Luckily for the diver, the shark got to within 10 meters or so and turned back, which is when he decided to take the risk of getting the bends and ascended quickly, rather than having another run-in with the Great White. I can't say I blame him. Overall, this was an almost standoff between the diver and the Great White, but if he didn't have his spear gun and stand his ground, there could have been an entirely different outcome.
The video we can see here is from LiveLeak and shows a young diver attempting a standard dive. When he begins his dive, he begins the gradual descent. However, around three and a half minutes into the video, something goes drastically wrong. He gets caught by a wall down current, essentially dragging him helplessly towards the bottom of the ocean. The other divers with him also get dragged in as well, and the current is so powerful, it's almost impossible for them to fight against it. The most eerie thing about the video is how you can hear the rookie diver screaming in panic. <laughs> Eventually, they make it out down current, and he attempts to make a rapid ascent towards the surface, which is when a more experienced diver has to come and tell him to go back down before he develops decompression sickness. There were multiple things wrong with the dive from the start, the main things being, they were too far apart when at the surface, they didn't perform a group controlled descent, and they also had no dive buddy. I'd say the young diver is very lucky to be alive. I've seen this video been put on YouTube a few times with a misleading title, and there are many people who believe it to be real. So I wanted to add this at the end of the video as a kind of bonus clip before people ask me why it wasn't included on my list. In the video, we can see what looks to be a diving squad descend to the ocean floor and encounter objects such as ankle chains and cement shoes, alongside other objects which would indicate a murder has taken place. When suddenly a woman's body floats in front of the camera and the video ends shortly after. Although creepy, this is fake, and was conducted by Vice for something called the 307 Project, where four directors created short horror films inspired by the release of The Conjuring.